Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this tonight. I am going to be showing you how to make an easy, breezy, and super tasty weeknight dinner. First, you're going to need some spinach. This is about a bag of spinach that I have right here. You're also going to need some chopped tomatoes. I'm using heirloom tomatoes, heirloom cherry tomatoes. You can use any tomatoes of your liking. I'm using these because I like the way they taste, and I also wanted to add a little bit of color to the dish. I'm also going to be using an eight ounce package of baby portobello mushrooms. Now, the spinach and the mushrooms, I did have those left over from another dish uh, that I made, a um, creamy spinach lasagna. So I had those left over, so I didn't want those to go to waste. You're also going to be needing some pesto. I keep just some um, store-bought pesto on hand. I also didn't want um, this cheese to go to waste, so I'm going to be using just a little bit of the Italian cheese blend, and then I had a little Neufchatel cheese left over as well. And then also for the recipe, you're going to be needing um, approximately a one-pound box of linguine pie. Pasta. So go ahead and get those ingredients together guys You guys I forgot there's also one other thing you're going to need for this recipe You are going to need one pound of raw shrimp and then go ahead and get your pot of water boiling so that you can go ahead and drop in your Pasta you can use the entire box if you want or maybe three-quarters of the box is perfectly fine then you're going to be using a saucepan and over medium low heat go ahead and add some olive oil and this is where you go ahead and add that one pound of raw shrimp here you can use cooked shrimp but raw shrimp just seems to retain flavors a little bit better so I do like to use that while I have that in the pan I'm gonna go ahead and add some pink Himalayan salt um, it's my go-to salt for everything that I cook um, I don't typically use iodized table salt anymore I am also going to just go ahead, um, just for extra kick, add some red pepper flakes. You don't have to do that for this recipe, but I tend to add that. And then I'm also going to be using some minced garlic. You can chop up fresh garlic if you'd like, um, but I am also the queen of keeping things like this on hand for ease. You're gonna go ahead and mix it all together and um, go ahead and get the shrimp nice and pink. It's gonna take about maybe um, three to four minutes to go ahead and do that. Once you've done that, you will go ahead and take some of the spinach um, by the handful and you're going to go ahead and wilt it down on top of the shrimp like you see me doing here so again it doesn't take very long for the shrimp to get to a nice pink color it also isn't going to take very long for the shrimp to cook and wilt down you just don't you don't want to get it like too soggy or anything like that just a nice wilt on the spinach once you do that, go ahead and add in the chopped uh, baby portobello mushrooms. Now, um, if you don't like mushrooms, definitely don't use mushrooms. You can substitute mushrooms for maybe like the artichokes or maybe some asparagus in this recipe. You could possibly even do fresh green beans in this recipe. So all you're going to be doing um, right here, you guys, is making sure that everything is nice and blended and cooked down together. So that's all done. And then... I'm gonna go ahead and just toss in the extra cheese in the new chatel that I had. If you also have like a jar of Alfredo sauce or something like that and you definitely want this creamy um, this to your pasta, just go ahead and dump that in here if you don't have the cheese or the new chatel. Again, this is not necessarily a planned recipe. I just really didn't want those two to go to waste. So if you have this in your fridge um, by chance or you just wanna make this then use it if not some alfredo sauce would work here as well half a jar would probably work pretty well once i melted all of that down this is what the sauce looks like you want to definitely make sure that you keep stirring the pot because you don't want the cheese to stick um, to the bottom of the pan and so i have this set to very low it's the lowest temperature that i have on this burner so um, I'm gonna let that go ahead and saute and simmer for a while this is where I do go ahead and add the pre-made pesto sauce so this is roughly about four tablespoons of pesto um, I said three but it's more like four um, it's like three and a half actually and go ahead and add the heirloom tomatoes in as well and now give everything a really really good mix keeping the eye on very low no need to turn the eye back up at all for this recipe because everything is already done you don't want to overcook the tomatoes you don't want to get them um, mushy 
or anything like that and you definitely don't want to overcook the shrimp it doesn't look like a good mixture right now i'll admit but you guys this is actually a really really good dish so now that you've gotten it all mixed and the pasta, you've cooked the pasta according to the directions, go ahead and um, by the spoonfuls, add the pasta into the sauce and give it a nice stir. You just want to make sure that everything is nice and well incorporated. So you want to make sure that you're adding the pasta in little by little and not the entire thing. This is why I said um, you may not want to use the entire one pound box of pasta. I found that using three quarters of the box of pasta was perfectly fine for me so I didn't have to use all of it. So just make sure you just get in there really nice and good and mix it all together. And seriously guys, it's as simple as that. This entire meal from start to finish probably was about 28 to 30 minutes for me to make. And it's really, really tasty and good. Go ahead and plate it, top it with some grated Parmesan and uh, maybe some more red pepper flakes. And there you have an easy weeknight meal. So hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on those post notifications, share and comment. Thanks for watching.